What's up guys? As promised, I'm going to be teaching you about Aperture today. Today's going to be a learning kind of day. So, uh, let's get to it. Aperture affects everything that you do. Let's say you want a per- you say, let's say you pinpoint a subject and that's all you want in focus. What you're going to do is you have your f-stop number on all your lenses which is like if you look at your lens and it says f2 or f1.8 that's what you call a fast aperture lens the iris of the lens gets wider and it makes the narrow it makes your depth of field get narrower so you can pinpoint focus on one subject and the rest will be blurry now if you want, let's say you're taking a picture of a landscape, or let's say you're taking a picture of somebody, but you want the background in focus because it's a, you know, it's a pretty place, so you want the whole thing in focus. So you take your f-stop number and you bump it up to about higher numbers, like f10, f16. But the thing with that is, is usually every lens its sharpest point is at like f8 to f16 so if you go all the way up to f22 thinking everything's gonna be in focus it will but your image will be softer so my rule of thumb is always don't go over f16 you can do what you want but that's my rule of thumb I'm gonna pop a couple pictures on the screen and I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna show you what a wider aperture looks like and I'm gonna tell you what a higher aperture looks like the lower f-stop number you get you go to to get a blurrier background that smooth buttery blurry goodness you want a wider aperture so lower numbers you want everything in focus and sharp as can be you want higher f-stop number so it's going to go from a wide iris inside of your lens to really small and narrow so i'm going to pop a couple pictures up on the screen and i'm going to show you the difference all right first picture i'm going to do is uh, of a wide aperture so what i'm going for here is i'm taking a picture of this little cactus so uh what I'm going for here is I want the cactus in focus and everything else in focus to bring out the detail in the plant. this everything in the background is completely out of focus and the, the plant is sharp and clear and clearly that's the focus of the image this next picture I wanted everything in focus to show you the difference between wide aperture and narrow aperture so um, notice how everything in the photo is in focus that is because I used a higher aperture of f16 as opposed to 1.8 on the last picture you can use this to your advantage if you're doing portraits you want to use a well I mean nothing set in stone you can really do whatever you want but usually most people use a wide aperture for portraits because they want the person's face in in focus and everything because this everything else blurry because that person is the focus in landscapes the land is the focus so you want everything there to be seen so um that is your photography tip of the week and um i'll see you next week bye